Ah, the countryside. Oh, hi. I'm millennial technophobe Ben Pope. These days, I find technology can be very stressful. I've developed a caffeine addiction in order to support my Wi-Fi addiction. Both my debit card and my love life are completely contactless. And my producer Rob has got me this treadmill so I can work out during this video because if I don't hit my step count, I'll disappoint my Fitbit. But there's one gadget more than most that is thawing your brain into a fine gazpacho. Here's five reasons your smartphone is ruining your life. One, your phone is making you anxious. An easy one to start with. Stop checking your emails on your phone. The fact that your phone is mobile means that people can hassle you with requests 24-7. You're know, like, ooh, are you free for a, a meeting at 3.30? Oh, can you action that request? Oh, Ben, the test results are through from the hospital. Yak, 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 yak. If you're finding all that gabble is making you anxious, then just ignore it. Say, no, I can't come to a meeting at 3.30, Matthew. Say, no, action isn't a verb, Karen. Say, sorry, what was the last one? <laughs> Positive means good though, right? Why not go the whole hog and just downgrade your phone? Sure, a brick like this isn't pretty, but it'll make you calmer and you can pretend to be Jason Bourne or a drug dealer or 87. Hell, why not use an actual brick and just throw it at people to get their attention? Hi, Rob. Two, your phone is making you impotent. Everyone always says that romance is dead. They also say this about Hugh Hefner. Both are true and both died in the same way, paralyzed by choice. Statistics show that dates organized on apps like Tinder are on the increase, whereas actual love and connection <laughs> isn't real. Why not double down and try meeting people the old fashioned way by colliding with them in the street or at a party or they're your cousin. At least you'll have a story and your kids are gonna look weird. Three, your phone is making you oblivious. The city you live in is vibrant and exciting, so use the eyes that God or Richard Dawkins gave you to get around, not some boring phone map. With your eyes to the skies and late for your appointments, you'll see all kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh. Mother Nature. <clears throat> Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> Wow. <laughs> so just remember what I always say. If you use a map app, you put the app in crab pap. Crab pap. App in crab pap pap. Four, your phone is making you bankrupt. Oh my God, you're an adult human. Stop getting delivery. But cooking your own food, it, it's more satisfying, it's cheaper, and you don't have to make a delivery boy bring it to your door on his back like a sad Cubist turtle. If Heston Blumenthal can make a, a, a souffle out of spare car parts, you can make a spag bowl out of the ingredients for spag bowl. Five, your phone is making you procrastinate. This is the big one. Social media is the ultimate procrastination tool. No one surfs the web anymore. We drown within it and are eaten by pornography sharks. So for the love of Christ, stop checking Instagram on your phone. Looking at your hot cousin's wedding photos is only making you sad. And meanwhile, you could be learning how to, I don't know, juggle? Or how to speak French. Et maintenant, vous ne saurez pas que je vous appelle un crétin, à moins qu'il ne mette ce titre sur cette vidéo. Crétin. <laughs> oh, merde. So for the love of Dawkins, just put down your phone and for one second just live in the real world. Right? Stop being a zombie slave to Satan's anxiety tablet. Stop, collaborate, listen. Rise up before the machines win. Smash your phone before it smashes off. Oh, ah.